What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Luna. This video is called Two Moms Regret Getting Piped by BBC on, on 304 Girls Trip and Claim Sexual Assault. That is insane. That is a crazy title. It's about Melanie King. We ain't seen one of her videos in a minute. This title is insane, bro. Hold on. Oh my god, you shouldn't have been out here thotting. Bro, what how do they get sexual? It's crazy how women can go on a trip, be hoes, and then get caught that they was hoeing around by their husband and then claim rape. A great. I'm sorry. Damn. Demonetized. There you go. Now a new travel warning. Two women were drug drugged and assaulted while on vacation in the Bahamas, unaware the State Patrolman had issued a travel advisory in the area. Eva Pilgrim has the story. Good morning, Eva. Good morning, George. These two moms say they thought they were doing all the right things to be safe. They were in a pair. They didn't take drinks from strangers. They weren't drinking in excess. But this morning, did y'all see how Melanie was looking in the corner? <laughs> Hold on. Let me let me uh, let me move this down here. Let's remind that. Like, bro, look at her face. She like, man, full of shit. Eva Pilgrim has a story. Good morning, Eva. Good morning, George. These two moms say they thought they were doing all the right things to be safe. They were in a pair. They didn't take drinks from strangers. They weren't drinking in excess. But this morning, they say their drinks were drugged at a Bahamian resort and they were attacked. The FBI now investigating. Amber Shearer and Dengalia Dobson were on their first kids-free vacation on board a Carnival cruise. We've been best friends for over 20 years, and we decided we were going to make this our girls' trip. On the last day of their trip, they stopped at a local resort on Grand Bahama Island, a resort they say the cruise ship recommended. Once there, the mothers claim they were offered a two-for-one drink, which they accepted, but immediately fell ill. After the first drink, we had to get out of the ocean because we noticed that it was just hitting so hard. I just felt so out of it. Shearer and Dobson say they lost consciousness and allege that after drinking the drugged cocktails, members of the resort staff sexually assaulted them. I vaguely remember glimpses of his face. I don't remember all of it. I don't remember everything. But I remembered enough of that he was a staff worker and he had a goatee and he was a local. That the resort security were able to go pull the footage and identify them right then and there. They say there were bruises on their legs and that they tested positive for various drugs. The Royal Bahamas police posting on Facebook confirming two men were arrested for sexual assault of two women and that an investigation is underway. Shear and Dobson say that's not enough. They're back in the U.S. demanding justice. The State Department issued a level two travel advisory for the Bahamas in late January due to an increase in homicides and sexual violence. It's extremely important if you're going to go overseas. Also, have an guests on Carnival Elation reported to Bahamian police that they were sexually assaulted at a local beach. Considering that now, their advice for other women stick to groups of four or more when traveling. Well, hey there, GMA. Also, have an obligation to make sure that the areas that they're recommending to passengers, to tourists, are safe. Carnival due to an increase in homicides and sexual violence. Hey guys, it's your girl Melanie, and it looks like there's two moms who went on a girl's trip alone without their husbands or children. Um, and somehow it turned into two random staffers at a resort while they're on a cruise decide to just drug them down and mm -hmm, them <laughs> randomly. <sighs> What is the world coming to? Men everywhere are just so dangerous. But, but what's that you say? What's that you say, Bob? Oh, uh, we have another report coming in. This is crazy. I made a video last night about these two moms from Kentucky who were on a carnival cruise and made a stop at Grand Bahama. And apparently two of the staff members there slipped some DRUGs into their drinks and then SA'd them. Well, the resort and the cruise line is saying that their story is completely wrong and that they made this whole thing up. So the resort is called Pirate's Cove and they have 16 cameras around the resort and it basically captured everything. And this no. account on the Book oh. of Faces has a video that's just full. 
No, they got Full caught. Information. They got they, caught in 4K. Oh my god. Basically, they <laughs> said upon further review of their surveillance videos, the allegations made on site and in subsequent social media posts and news stories conflict with what the time-stamped surveillance videos contain. As such, the lengthy videos of all concerned have been handed over to the local police and will be shared with our industry partners as needed. And then the resort goes on to say that the two guys were terminated, but because they violated the zero tolerance policy. So, so just so you know, these guys were not terminated because they did anything to these women. It's just they, they, in the surveillance, it was found that they did other things that were against company policy and at, at the resort. But as you can see here, we saw these two victimized hot girl summer thought box women that decided to go on a girl's trip. And we all know what happens on the girl's trip. They're in the Bahamas. They wanted to get some BBC. They wanted to get piped down away from their, their small Midwest town and their, their boring husbands and their boring life. What's up, Lily? And of course they went here to get, uh, to get, uh, blacked. And that's exactly, in my opinion, that's exactly what happened. And then of course they come back and spin a victim's narrative that all this happened to them. And I have no idea why I rack my brain all the time and trying to figure out why would a woman do something like this? Is it because she, they slept with them without using protection and perhaps they could have caught something. So they're thinking we have to come up with a story about this or perhaps they, they wanted to get money uh, for a lawsuit. They want, they regretted it the next day. These men, it, was, it wasn't as good as they thought. I don't know. I come across so many stories of women just lying on men, making up false allegations of rape. And this is very serious because there are real women that have gone through this. This is women and men that have gone through this. And we are not going to keep believing these victims because, because hot boxes like these absolute city girls like this decide to go somewhere. And then, you know, we have to bring in the racial component in this as well. These two white Midwest, Midwest moms it, it decided to go to, they're in this other country in the Bahamas, a poorer country, knowing that they have a higher economic status than these men, knowing them being two white moms, they're going to believe, be believed. And again, I, you guys know, I don't make everything about race, but this just shows the entitlement of the Western feminists and why men around the world cannot trust the Western feminists, cannot trust the Western woman, no matter what color she is. This is her MO. If it suits her, if it's something that she can gain from making a false accusation on you, she is going to believe all she has to do is shed a few crocodile tears, claim that you did something, and then you will be charged. You will be fired. You will be arrested. You will have your life ruined, your reputation ruined. They just so happen to actually have surveillance footage. Imagine how many men have been locked up, falsely accused, and things have happened to them. They've been imprisoned and because there is no footage. They just believe the word of this woman. And because she's a woman, well, of course she must be a victim. How many times does this have to happen before we actually change the laws? That's why you can't mess with them girls that be drunk, bro. That's the rule. Stay away from them drunk hoes, bro. Before we actually have to have evidence, they will keep, usually these women came forward, but normally the victim's, the victim's name will be held private even after she's found to be lying. She's still seen as a victim while the man's name and face and likeness is blasted all over the place. And just we know that accusation alone will crucify him and destroy his life. I don't know how anybody, any man in the world is still dealing with a Western woman. Here's a timeline according to their footage. The girls entered the property at 817 in the morning. They were greeted by staff at 824. Then at 940, one of the girls met with one of the guys who's being accused. Then at 1006, you can see them, looks like they're walking arm in arm with these two guys. They were headed towards the western side of the beach where the alleged incident took place. Now check out this video and then listen to what they have to say about it. Refuse to let us see a U.S. physician or refused. a carnival physician. Refuse to let us have a rape kit done immediately. Made us go to the bathroom. Like the, Guys, they wouldn't even give us a rape kit after we had been raped. They refused. They made us go to the bathroom and use toilet tissue. And they collected toilet tissue. 
as their specimens. And then they did an alcohol test on us, like we were just super drunk. We had hardly any alcohol in our system at all. Well, the resort says that their EMS offered medical assistance to both of the girls, but they declined and even signed a waiver. And then they left for the cruise ship in a private vehicle, but Knowing the gravity of the incident, their officers boarded the cruise ship, providing an SA kit and hospital form to the ship's medical doctor. So that's completely different than what the girls are saying. And just to throw in there, there is now a GoFundMe with a $10,000 goal. Apparently, it's to help raise money for medications that they need that help prevent certain diseases. So there you have it, the modern Western feminist woman, which generally most of the Western women today are indoctrinated with some level of feminism. It is a sliding scale. Okay. It is, it is a, it is a scale. Not everyone is, not every woman is at the same level of feminism, but there is this indoctrination when it suits them, they will use their tears to hurt a man. They will use their tears to save themselves. I have countless, countless, countless number of stories. Who would, if you was actually assaulted, who would turn down the kit? So apparently these two, I'm fine by the way, apparently these two uh, moms went on this cruise ship and basically got drunk and, and, and wanted, wanted to try BBC while they, were, while they was away from their husbands. And got got what they wanted and then they came back and they started this whole thing about uh being uh sa and and it, and it sucks that they're using that because two brothers the two the brothers lost their jobs but it's because they was like doing like they was messing around with the uh people on the cruise ship which is like company policy and stuff like that uh, allegedly but they got they got fired because of you know not uh following company policy rule but the company actually came out and like told that they didn't do none of that and they was releasing video footage and everything and so now they're like going and on their tiktok making other videos like uh how they refused all this stuff but then the company is saying that they was the ones refused it signed the waiver and all this and now they have a gofundme and stuff like that and, you know, with black men, we're guilty until proven innocent. And even still, once they slander our names and post our pictures everywhere and stuff, people are just going to always remember you from that, which fucking sucks. Appreciate the follow, Amelia. <clears throat> Welcome to the Moon Village. Uh, people are going to automatically just what's the word they're gonna crucify you no matter what even if you are innocent like look what they just did to jonathan majors that nigga all he did was put the girl in the truck and took off and he is labeled all this other shit and he didn't even do that and then the court bro they be doing us so goddamn wrong bro oh my gosh damn bro y'all gotta be brothers be careful out there with them white women bro i can't i bro that's why, like, when I argue, man, I just walk out. I just walk out, bro. And even still, you're going to get in trouble, bro. That are out there that I have done research. Be safe, bros. Be safe. I have highlighted a few on my channel. Even, even, uh, Matt, talking about Matt Ariza and several, uh, several other even celebrity type of men that this has happened to. No man is safe when the Western woman is something that she wants. She's going to do whatever it takes to get it from you. And now they're even having laws now where they're on campuses, some campuses that they're promoting that if a woman can actually withdraw consent. So if she's, I think up to a week that she has. Wait, how can you withdraw consent? That's a thing, bro. Say y'all say psych right now. That's a, that's a thing. Women can withdraw consent. Bro, what? You can change your mind at any time. One way to do this is to clearly communicate. Bro, whoa, whoa, wait, 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 wait. I know you can like say yes and then y'all go to the room and then y'all start and then she says no, then that's withdrawn. That's okay. But you can 
withdraw it after you do it? Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Bro, I'm gonna what? Nigga, what? Consent can always be withdrawn now. They can retroactively take that consent back simply because they regret it. What? <laughs> oh my god. What? But it, but you could be charged if you don't respect their right to remove their consent and you continue on with the activity. No, 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 no. Even though you gave that. Okay, no, I understand that. I'm talking about after. There we go. Corey gonna have it. What? What? If we have sex and abide by all the parameters she sets and how consensual sex we finish, she's happy. She can now revoke permission in such a way that I don't get to have sex with her again. Wait, no, nigga, duh. But she can't retroactively revoke consent for the sex we already had and call it rape. That's not how consent works. No shit. But they just say you can have that. They just said you can do that now. Bro. American University it orders students to Bro, get the shit out of here. Agree, women can revoke and sit after sex. Up there, it's creating a culture on campus that is okay to rewrite history. Wait, what if a man and woman are both drunk and have sex? A man is the rapist if the woman decides he is at some point, regardless of how she felt in the moment. This is what American University taught students and it requires. Sex. Well, oh, this is this is real. The module asked students personal behavior questions like how many sexual partners they had. And how often they drink, according to Red Alert, which is a program that's called Campus Clarity. And here's a hurricane I heard about trainers. I was shocked. The program explicitly says they're both too drunk to give consent, but the but says the man court. What? So that's what they was talking about. That damn picture of if the woman. It was a woman and a man. They were both drunk. They both consented to sex. And then she didn't, she uh, realized that they had sex. And so she can. But then the dude is automatic rate when they both was drunk. Bro, how does that even work? That's insane. Let me has to withdraw consent. So that if you sleep with her and she decides, well, I didn't like how it went. I didn't like the way he treated me. He didn't kiss my butt afterwards. Blah, 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 blah. Whatever. She just changes her mind. She can now withdraw consent, even if consent was given at the time, even if there was a witness to consent. And then you can then be charged. You can then be kicked off of campus. This is how crazy and antagonistic this world has gotten towards men. And bro, that is crazy to think about. You know how many drunk college kids have drunk sex all the fucking time, bro? It's insane. Oh my gosh. There's no way to protect dudes from that. Well, and don't let her have a boyfriend and she cheated. And then she feels bad. It's over with for them, Nick. Boy. 
Oh, there are stories like this where women have really been victimized. It is sad that they promoted these women without having strong evidence that something happened. They allowed these women to just tell their story without any, any evidence, any type of uh, investigation being done. They were just allowed, they called the news stations to promote this and wanted to warn other women in case they're going and blah, blah, blah. And then now they wonder why men, you can't believe all women anymore because of women like this, females like this, disgusting females that if they're lying, which it looks like the evidence is showing that they're lying according to, to the, the cruises. Now, of course, the investigation has to finish. So we don't have the thing, but this alleged situation and happened that they claim happened. Now we're seeing that the, not only the cruise line, but the Bohemian, um, the Bohemian, um, professionals, uh, the authorities, they're saying that they're lying, that they're making this up, that the evidence shows something completely different than their timeline. And we know if a woman has been getting busted down by BBC in one of these countries, she just has to come home and face the consequences of her sins, face the consequences of what she's done. It could be that she caught a disease. It could be her own conscience, whatever it is, but somehow she has to be a victim. And of course, some poor simp is going to believe that she was, whether there's evidence of it or not. So guys, I'm really upset about stories like this because I know women personally, this happened to, this happened to my mother at 14. And so I am, I'm an advocate for, you know, um, for, against essay and all of that against men and women and especially children. But when we see these stories come out like this, it hurt, it does nothing but hurt people. And it does nothing but hurt men further and demonize men. When a lot of times the perpetrators of these crimes are actually women. All right, guys, leave a comment below. And I'd be so grateful if you guys could follow me on social media, particularly Facebook. I'm trying to, I got hacked before and now. Boy, fellas, y'all be careful out there. That is sad. I know so many, I not so many. But I know girls that really got S.A. And this shit sucks. Like, that, like, now, like, it's just thrown around so loosely. And it's like, when somebody actually goes to that stuff, nobody's going to believe them. And it's just making it worse. Or, not worse. It's just making it worse for women that actually go through that stuff. It makes it to where, like, they don't want to tell nobody even more. Because... The women that do tell or make it up and get plastered everywhere, they be lying. So now, like, women who go through the traumatic stuff don't even want to, like, tell nobody. And, like, they continuously go through it over and over again. That shit is sad, bro. Oh, my gosh. Y'all like, comment, subscribe. Y'all tell me what y'all think in the comments. That is insane. I didn't know they did that on college campuses. Boy, y'all better be careful out here. Oh, my God.